Villa Stellina in Chianti, in the heart of Chianti, in the property called Castellare. And as you may see, you have 360 degrees of uh, Chianti all around. You have vineyards, we have woods, we have a, a beautiful construction over here, cellars, everything else. We are going to walk through this and show you the whole thing. I'm here with Mr. Cellai, who is the manager and the enologist. And uh, obviously we are in the room where you're collecting all the different vintages since exactly. the beginning. Exactly. Please tell me something about it. So Castellare is a small reality of uh, Chianti Classico area. And uh, in Castell it, the Castellare is a vinery since uh, 1978 with uh, Mr. Paolo Panerai. But, and, but the wine was made before here, right? Yeah, absolutely. Always made. Exactly. But there are smaller properties. Exactly. Five different poderis now uh, is uh, Castellaria. Mr. Cellai, those birds, what are, what are, what's the meaning? The, the birds in the Castellare level is uh, the ex explanation of our philosophy, the first uh, philosophy of production, because in Castellare all our products are organic. So no pesticide, no herbicide in the vineyard just organic production. And all birds used in Castellare levels are birds in a way of extinction in this area. Because one of the reasons of the extinction of a lot of uh, birds is the pesticide and yeah. the herbicide That's in the true. vineyard. Mr. Cellai, these are tonneau of uh, Chianti Classico. Chianti Classico 2000. Okay. Uh, all, uh, the same of uh, barriques in the French wood. French wood. And, uh, 500 liters each. Exactly, 500 liters. And uh, we are now in the old uh, part of cellar yeah. where we have uh, just the Chianti Classico. Now, in this, uh, in this tonneau, there is the Chianti Classico 2000. What about these pebbles over here? I never saw them. There is a very technical reason because we use uh, this kind of stones here. Uh, because uh, in the cellar, it's very, very important uh, the humidity. Keep the humidity. Exactly. So this absorbs the humidity Absorb and, uh, and gives it back when it's needed. When, exactly. That's exactly. very interesting and very clever. And also when we clean uh, the... The humidity goes in, exactly. it dries, and when it's needed, it gives it back. Perfect. You are a winemaker. This is uh, the Vincent Taya room uh, in, uh, where uh, we put uh, immediately after the harvest uh, the white grapes, uh, called the uh, white Trebbiano Toscano and uh, white Malvasia, for uh, eight or seven, eight months. To after. dry. Exactly. And then we press the grapes and uh, uh, we put the juice in, the, in this uh, kind of barrels called the caratelli, caratelli eh, so. where uh, inside uh, there is a very old uh, mother called mother what is it about a uh, little less than half 20 percent 20 percent we're going to taste some of your sodi di san nicolo the best wine of the uh, Castellare production, 1997. 1997. We make the choir here, 1997. 1997. A special toast to Castellare, to yourself. Thank you. And to all my friends.